actually in the beginning, I think I don't think anybody really thought of it like something different. Uh, but after a while, heavy metal in general was considered uh, bad music. They didn't want their kids to listen to it and stuff like that. That's what they said. But uh, uh, I don't think the people agreed. I started uh, Heavy Load in 1978, before Eddie joined here, but to record um, Full Speed at High Level. We talked with, 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 with several record companies and, and they said that uh, Hard Rock is dead. The only thing working, working now and in the future is punk and disco. So forget about it, guys. We say no. We we we, we know that there is an audience of of uh, course. So we we um, Ragna and, and I decided to finance our, our first album ourselves, because nobody else wanted to. I only Then uh, our, our first bass player left quite soon after we had done the first record, the full spin at high level. He, he really couldn't stand the pressure of having to tour, you know. Then uh, two other guys joined in. One was uh, Ero Koivisto, but we didn't get along so well. And then we, we uh, took in our, our cousin Tur Turbjörn on bass, and, and we wanted another guy to to, yeah. play, to play guitar and so on. And we met Eddie. I was working in a music <laughs> store in the city. And one day when I was leaving the store, I saw a poster on the window. And this was the backside of the first album, the, the truck with all the stuff falling out of it. And, and, it and, pictures, and pictures of me on it. Yeah. yeah. And it looked, and so. it looked kind of amazing, <laughs> actually. And I figured, and it said, the sign said, we are looking for a guitar player. Yeah. Please call this number. And I figured, hmm, wow, this is kind of interesting, and I love the picture. So I called them, we set up a meeting, I came down, we played a little, um, and uh, well, I got the job. <laughs> actually started with a Facebook conversation, actually, that I have with, uh, with Bart, I believe, uh, Bart Gabriel, uh, and um, we, uh, he, we ta he talked about it, Chris mentioned it, and uh, then all of a sudden Manoli's got in, in touch with me, and he presented the idea, and he asked me if I would like to come down and sing a couple of songs. And after thinking over this for about three minutes, I said yes. <laughs> Negotiating with, with several companies, you know, and, and uh, about releasing old uh, unreleased songs and so on. <laughs> and uh, me and my brother, we uh, in 1985 when Eddie left, we continued on, on, on a new album, and we worked on it uh, now and then for 15 years. So we have quite a lot of a lot of songs. We almost have a, you, you can say that that we have an. an uh, a totally new album, almost done. Well, 
well, he, he came down to the studio. He was touring in Sweden with his solo band, Mark Steinway from Bergen, mm -hmm. and Joel Sykes on, on guitar, and, and his own drummer from Felici on drums. And, and uh, we, had, we had mutual friends. They talked and he heard we were recording, and one, one day, on one night, he came down slightly intoxicated and <laughs> he listened to our song free and he liked it very much but he said it's a great song but it lacks bass we had put it lacks bass, on bass. It. and I was said uh, because our bass player was on holiday in Norway and we said uh, couldn't you play it and then he said yeah sure but not now I'm too drunk so he came came down later, some days later, and recorded it. And we had a very good time. We we partied until the early morning. fact that we made the music way back in time, we haven't really followed up it. And so the, the, the music stays the same. And, and the myth is very special. So I think maybe that is influential to, to a lot of people today. I think that uh, we really uh, wanted to, to do our own thing, you know. We tried new things and a new way and a new way to do things and, and we experimented quite a quite a lot. If that gets uh, turns out to be su successful it, it uh, may be a template for other other bands, other bands and so on. So it's it is fantastic that I'm I'm totally in awe at the fact that other bands like our music and feel that, that they are influenced by it. Yeah.